Welcome to the Harper Classroom. I'm Dr. Harper. This video is an introduction to supply chain management. Let's start by comparing operations management and supply chain management. Operations management can be described as transformation of inputs to outputs where the inputs are raw material and the outputs are finished products. And the operations could fall under the different categories of design operations, manage operations, control operations. They also include aggregate planning, which is sales and operations planning, SNOP, or production planning, inventory control, scheduling, and labor. Upstream, operations include sourcing and purchasing. Downstream, it includes demand forecasting and transportation. But all of this is from the perspective of operations. Comparing operations with supply chain management, the description becomes management of systems between supplier and customer that satisfies customer demands, where the input is changed to supplier and the output is changed to customer because the supply chain management manages systems upstream and downstream. Since it manages systems, it will consider the supplier relationship management and the customer relationship management along with operations management. And these will need to be coordinated and integrated with other systems such as logistics management, information technology management, value chain management, quality management, project management, risk management, and other areas. The objectives of supply chain management is high service levels and low cost and continuously improving the quality throughout the supply chain. So putting all this together, the description can be expanded to a definition. The design, implementation, and control of systems that manage the flow of information, material, money, knowledge, and services throughout the supply chain to continually improve quality, lower cost, and increase customer satisfaction. And I want to emphasize the systems approach and throughout the supply chain to distinguish supply chain management from operations management. Supply chain model. This supply chain model has five different stages. We just saw a three-stage model and this is a five-stage model. In practice, supply chains can have many stages. Now consider flow. Traditionally, the flow of information is upstream and the flow of material is downstream. Now, consider these five functions of managing a supply chain. First, inventory. Echelon inventory re refers to inventory related to multiple stages throughout the supply chain. Supply chain management will not only manage inventory within a stage and between stages, but will also manage the inventory throughout the supply chain as echelon inventory. Forecasting demand is important for inventory control, but with echelon inventory, the importance of forecasting demand is increased. One key term is risk pooling. When managing echelon inventory, pooling the inventory can lower the risk of stock out with lower inventory levels and lower inventory costs, referred to as inventory risk pooling. Logistics. Network configurations include the location of facilities, the number of facilities, and how the facilities are connected to achieve target service levels at a low cost. Transportation considers the mode of transportation such as air, rail, water, or truck. Transportation also considers the type of delivery such as direct shipment, transshipment, or warehousing. Another key term in supply chain management is cross-docking. Transportation within different network configurations can take on different designs. One key design is cross-docking. In cross-docking, a warehouse does not store inventory. Instead, a warehouse is used to transfer inbound inventory to outbound deliveries as merely a docking station, and thus decrease delivery times and lower costs. Relationships. Procurement deals with the external acquisition of material and sometimes services. Outsourcing is relying on an outside agent as the provider of services, material, and sometimes expertise. Because of the system's approach to supply chain management, relationships between stages in the supply chain 
are often referred to as alliances. Alliances can represent strong to moderate relationships based on trust and commitment that will openly share information, expertise, costs, and profits. Information. Communications include collecting and reporting data such as customer demand, inventory levels, or quality metrics. Analysis utilizes the content of information to improve the overall efficiency of the supply chain either within a stage or between stages. The analysis of information could be applied to functional areas such as inventory, logistics, and relationships. Another key term in supply chain management is bullwhip effect. Bullwhip effect refers to the increase of the variability of information as the information flows upstream in a supply chain. This commonly observed bullwhip effect within supply chains needs to be recognized, described, and managed. Integration. Push-pull strategies will include the positioning of inventory for order fulfillment that depends on demand characteristics and service level requirements within a supply chain. Standardization of products, processes, and procurement will create efficiencies throughout the supply chain. Delayed differentiation or postponement integrates the product and process standardization with customer demand. There are many drivers. Two key drivers are technology and globalization. Technology. The characteristics of information that contribute to information as a driver include the volume of information being collected along with the speed of collecting and sharing the information and the enormous variety of information. Also the exponential increase in ability to collect, store, retrieve, and collaborate information has been a significant factor and will continue to be a factor in the growth of supply chain management. Science. Research and development of new and existing product and processes along with the innovation of disruptive technology will be a key driver in future supply chain development. Globalization. Differences in culture, practices, expectation, political unrest between countries will not only present challenges but also provide opportunities of new ideas along with an increase of knowledge and capabilities. Growth. The growth potential of partnerships within and between supply chains globally have already been recognized as strategic and will continue to be so. Now consider four important types of supply chains. Reverse supply chains. When the flow of material is upstream instead of downstream, the supply chain is called a reverse supply chain. Material can flow upstream because of returns, which are triggered by downstream agents, recalls, which are initiated by upstream decisions, or recycle, which is a cooperative policy between upstream and downstream parties. Global supply chains. When supply chain management is conducted in more than one country, the supply chain can be considered as a global supply chain. Drivers can include expanded markets, lower costs, or specialized expertise. Strategies must be flexible to account for such factors as the cultural differences between countries, the economic and political volatility within countries, and the interactions of countries within a supply chain. Green supply chains. Sustainability and supply chain management have a symbiotic relationship. Sustainability influences supply chain management and supply chain management contributes to sustainability. The business reporting of sustainability is TBL, the triple bottom line. Economic sustainability, environmental sustainability, and socio-political sustainability. Smart supply chains. As the impact of technology continues to improve the efficiency and sophistication of supply chain management, the smart supply chains of the future will be marked with innovation. 
As technology leads to innovation, innovation breeds disruption. Disruption of old ways to be replaced with new solutions that will respond to the challenges of the future. This represents the elements needed to manage the systems within a supply chain. But it still requires integration and coordination. The Supply Chain Operations Reference Model, SCORE. From the APEX Supply Chain Council, the Supply Chain Operations Reference Model, SCORE, is the world's leading supply chain framework linking business processes, performance metrics, practices, and people skills into a unified structure. The SCORE model consists of three levels. Level 1 of the six SCORE model processes provides the framework for the management of a supply chain within an organization. This framework is extended to the supplier and the customer. This is then extended to the supplier supplier and the customer's customer, which integrates processes, metrics, practices, and people skills, resulting in enhanced coordination between stages and a unified structure to manage the systems throughout the entire supply chain. Let's consider some supply chain examples. We'll use this four-stage model. First, let's look at the agriculture supply chain for cotton. The supplier could be a cotton farmer. The manufacturer could consist of ginning, spinning, and weaving processes. And the distributor could be a trucker. And the trucker could be transporting raw material or fabric, but eventually it's going to get to the retailer and the customer. Next is metal supply chain for steel. Start with the iron ore mine, and the manufacturer, the example here is the elect electric arc steel furnace, where they're putting together the iron and the uh, alloys for different grades of steel, and then the distributor. Here's a rail that's shipping to different points, and eventually it's going to get to the retailer and the customer. Next is the energy supply chain for electricity. Start with the hydroelectric power dam as one supplier. And the manufacturer could consist of things such as the transmission station, the transformer station, distribution bus, a regulator bank. And the distributor could be the electric power lines eventually to the retailer and the customer. Now even though these are just three examples of areas of supply chains, there are many different supply chains. Next is a supply chain complexity. The complexity in management of supply chains can be well illustrated by considering transportation. There are many modes of transportation, air, truck, water. For example, for water, these commercial shipping routes just in the year 2012 required scheduling, monitoring, executing, and so on. The same for air and the commercial airline routes in the year 2009. For rail, the routes for the United States in 2007 and Europe in 2011 present a similar challenge. These examples illustrate the challenge in managing just the transportation portion within the supply chain. Supply chain management, the design, implementation, and control of systems that manage the flow of information, material, money, knowledge, and services throughout the supply chain to continually improve quality, lower cost, and increase customer satisfaction. And because supply chain management will continue to be challenging, the application of the knowledge and relationships within these topics to supply chain management will be as much an art as a science. And that's what makes it fun. This ends the video on Introduction to Supply Chain Management. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.